Hello everyone. Okay, welcome to our science show. I'm Mr. R. And this is Mr. J. Mr. J. So for today's experiment, we're going to do our 2006 O-level practical paper. All right. So let me bring you to this board here. Now in this exercise, you are going to obtain a value for the acceleration of free fall G using a simple pendulum. Okay, you're provided with a pendulum, a bob with a thread tied to it, two wooden blocks, a stopwatch, a meter rule, and a clamp, stand and boss. Now, we have to set up the apparatus as shown in the figure here, with the length L approximately 40 cm. So, let's take a look at the diagram a bit. You have your retort stand, you have your wooden base here, and then the thread with the bob attached to it is clamped, and the length L, okay, be careful, you have to measure it from the middle of the bob all the way up to the bottom of the wooden block. Got that? All right. Now let's take a look at the real setup. Now Mr. J has been measuring the length L and as you can see, he has been very careful to measure from the middle of the bob all the way up there. Okay? So he had 10 cm all the way to 40 uh, all the way to 50, sorry. And that's how you get 40 cm. Great job, Mr. J. Thank you, man. All right. So Moving on, you have to start the pendulum swinging through a small angle. Okay, I'll tell you more about a small angle in a bit. Okay, and then you have to measure the time taken for 10 periods of the pendulum. Record this value in the column labeled 10T in the figure here. So this is a cool table for all our recordings. Following that, we have to calculate the values of T and T squared for the pendulum which we will skip for this part, okay? Now, afterwards, we have to adjust the length of the pendulum to obtain further results. Now, let's start with our 40 cm length. All right, let me put it here. Okay, so how do we exactly measure the time for the pendulum? So, at the first, okay, the first point I would like to make, all right, is that you make sure that when you swing the pendulum, it is okay, straight and it doesn't go at an angle, side to side. Okay, make sure it's straight. And then, okay, what do I mean by the small angle? Okay, roughly just use around 10 degrees so that it doesn't swing too much and then it will not, it will not affect the result that much. Okay, so I'm going to begin by letting it run for a few takes. Okay, I think it's a good habit, let it run for a few takes. And then once it's at the middle, you start your timing. Okay, and this is how you do it. Okay, ready? Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We are done. Okay, simple as that. Okay, that is for your 40 cm. So, now we have to record our recordings. So, Mr. J will use the marker. Okay, so the first take we had was 40 cm. So, you have to write down 40.0 cm, okay? The time taken is 12.85 seconds. So, simple as that. Now, I'm just going to show you a bit that we will have to use between 30 cm to 70. So, as such, the best way that we have come up with is that we use 45, next followed by 50, 55, 60 cm, and then lastly 65. Okay? All right. So now, the next one we're going to show you is we're going to show you the 60 cm one. So that we can show you that there's this interesting difference between the values for 10 T for this and that one. Mm. Got it? All right. So now we have to adjust the setup to change our L value to 60 cm. So I'm going to help Mr. J because we are good buddies over here. That's right. All right. So let us change first and then we'll let you see in much greater detail. I think that's cool, Mr. R. All right. Okay. So I'm going to use the camera to show you in greater detail, okay? So please make sure that the value starts from the middle of the bob. So it's 60 cm here. Yeah. And it runs all the way to 0 cm. Yeah. At the bottom of the wooden block. I think you got it, Mr. R. 
All right, that's cool. Now, what's left is to just start with the timing. So remember, I told you, you have to start perpendicular to the table and that the angle that you should swing it is small, around 10 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to restart this guy and I'm all set. Let it run for a few. Okay, I have to restart again. Make sure it's all perfect. Okay, so I let it run for a few times. Once I'm ready, okay, I'll start the timing. So. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Okay. So let's check out the timing. It is actually fifteen point sixty six seconds. Wow, that looks like it was. Uh, it took longer, a longer time than the previous one. Yeah, definitely. It took almost three seconds longer than it, longer than the first value. Okay, so let's record this down. What's the number again? The it's number is 15.66 for our 60 cm. All right, I'll write it down. All right, okay. So the rest of the recording, okay, you can try it out on your own. So that's it actually for our physics practical paper 2006. Are you? So, yeah, that's cool. All right, thank you all very much, and see ya. See ya. Bye. Bye.